Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 content, where today we're going to be taking an Intercity 225 set from Doncaster to Peterborough, calling at all stations for a, uh, I want to say it'd be a, it's a late night service, there's no ifs and or buts about it, it's uh, it's not early evening, It's you can call it late evening if you want, late evening uh, or late night, whichever one takes your fancy. So, uh, before I carry on, I'd like to give a huge mention to David Miller once again, who has contributed to my channel. Thank you ever, ever so much. I genuinely, I cannot express my gratitude enough. It really does mean a huge, huge amount to me. Thank you ever so much. Uh, if you'd like to uh, help support the channel as well, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds that go in there go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline, and ultimately, uh, when I start refilming my trains at series again, which is what my channel has been built up upon, when uh, I will be filming those uh, videos again, I do not know. Uh, at the time of this recording, um, Leicester has uh, gone into a localized lockdown. Whether or not other cities will follow suit, or the UK goes into another nationwide lockdown, remains to be seen. So, uh, unfortunately, um, I, I cannot give anybody an estimate as to when I will be starting my normal filming. So, uh, for the foreseeable future, all content that will be coming up will be game-orientated. Okay, driver village device isolated, jolly good, visual alarms active, marvellous. So, there's a chap with an interesting haircut. Right, evening driver, allow passengers to alight and then board. Uh, then prepare yourself and be ready for departure. Certainly. Right, so we're going to open the doors. We're going to hop in here. Turn on the lights inside the train. Excellent. Right, now... Let's just hop out here make sure that the headlights are good. Yeah, right. I need them. Then that's off. Okay, hop back into the cab. Instrument lights are on. Turn that off. Select that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cab lights, I'm not too fussed about. Don't suppose I'm going to need them. We've got instrument lights, we've got everything else. Right, just turn that on, that's fine. I've got the cab lights on for the moment so I can see what I'm doing. Tail lights, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That is, don't need that. Tail lights, so I've got those turned off so we don't need those. I've got everything else turned on appropriately. Okay. Yeah, something. Oh, HST. Excellent. Right, so we have 82.230. If we nip to the back, nope, uh, because I'm not in the light, I can't actually see a thing. It's always a good start. Right. So, uh, what I will do, um, yeah, cab lights, turn that back to off. We've got everything else in there turned on that I need, so I can see comfortably in here. Hello. Oh, another 225 set coming in. Okay, so. Give it about 52%. So, first stop is Redford in 17.29 of a mile. Uh, plan is... Let's go back here, see if I can't ascertain who 
We are 91014. Excellent. Okay, that's us. We'll sit in the cab for the moment. It's 120 coming up, so what we're going to do, turn the cruise control, or at least the, uh, the, it's not really cruise control, is it, per se? It is and it isn't. It is cruise control in the sense of it will prevent me from ex exceeding that speed limit, but uh, if it wants me to go slower, then I can, it, the train will just slow itself down. So, you probably, well, it isn't the case we're probably about it, we're not going to be seeing an awful lot during our journey. So, we'll make the most of our station stops when we get the chance, but uh, the bulk of this journey will be sat inside the cab of the DBT and hanging out of the window every now and again. Because, as you can see, there isn't much to be seen. I've got the lights turned on inside the Mark IVs, so these people can now actually see what they're doing. Uh, it's coming to 125, so we'll just uh, get that to there and we'll just accelerate as best as we can. We'll sit back to this side, we'll, we'll stick on the, the direction of travel for our leaning out of the window. I can just make out a couple of coal wagons. That's about it. accelerating that much quicker. See if we can make up what trains pass us on our journey. I have no doubt we'll, we'll be passing some freight trains as well as uh, other passenger traffic. I suppose what I need to do, I need to try and keep an eye out for whistleboards where appropriate.
just changed. So we are chasing the HST. What we'll do, just turn that off. Do a bit of braking. Drop that to 110. Hasn't changed just yet, but we'll keep an eye out. We'll see what the next signal does. If the next signal hasn't changed, then we're just gonna have to slam the brakes on the protocross that we can stop the bat. Tell you what, let's jump. No, tell you what, we're gonna keep off, we're gonna keep our foot in. I trust the brakes on this thing. Also, because there was a, a difference in speed. What are you doing? Well, you're still at a double, so... I don't know. Ah, oh, there we are. I'll just change to green. So, we're fine. All is well. That's what I love. That blue. That's fantastic. Now, it's a starry night. Over the north of England. Hasn't changed. Quick succession of signal box coming up. So, uh, weirdly, we're actually joined Redford Lane, which is odd. But, we will just start slowing down. Otherwise, this could be quite problematic. Has that gone to two? Yes, it has, which is fine. So, if we if I drop it to to one, I think I missed a whistle board there. I mean, strictly speaking, you're supposed to run a half the permitted line speed when you come across a double yellow. So, we'll do that, we'll release that, we'll send that to 65, we'll then give it full beans, and we literally just coast to 65 for a while, until we come across the green aspect, and then we're, uh, we should be tickety-boo. Because I don't know what that HST is doing, I don't know if the HST is going to be stopping at Redford or not. I can't imagine it would. See what the next few signals tell us. Still due in nice and late, so uh, we're off to a good start already. Okay, I can see green, so that's fine. Just keep on accelerating now, and we're going to lean out the window. Ninety-one. Okay, four miles to go before we hit Redford.
Okay, that flash of signal is telling me that I'm going to be crossing over. So what I need to do, because it's telling me this, put on to step two's worth of braking, start slowing us down sufficiently. As you can see, we have 50 miles an hour coming up in 1.6 miles. So, followed by 40. So the braking I'm doing should be okay. I can always add to it if needs be. In fact, we shall. One of the more unique stations I've filmed at in terms of its uh, layout. Not one I'm overly fond of, I must admit. Well, we somehow came in early, but that's fine. How do we do back here? All the room in the world, and that's very bright in there. But we've got some sort of real high voltage LEDs kicking off in here. Oh, yes, thank you for squeaking my paws. Back up, here we go. So, first screenshot attempt of the scenario. That's going to be atrocious. Let's go to this level. Uh, let's go to here. God, that's even worse. Um, okay, so we went up here. There we go. Like a bird perched on top of that. That's not really any better. Okay, if we go down here. Go down here. Cheeky zoom in. We zoom out again. A little bit more. Nice and centre. Try that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, then what we do, we're going to perch ourselves here, wait for the all clear, and then the uh, vamoose.
into the darkness we go. Right, bring that to 120, because that's what the speed's going to be for the moment. Drop that to 10, so we can just slow down our acceleration. And then back up again. Happy days. Right, and lean out of window. So, Newark is next in 18 miles, Newark Northgate. 115 limit coming up. Okay, back in the cab. Excellent. just in case people get any random ideas about driving in front of me. Signal there is flashing, so that tells me that something's going to be coming up towards us that will be calling out Rutford. Right, well, I've got to press the corresponding keyboard commands that make me believe that I've upped the uh, cruise control to 125, so we should keep accelerating. And indeed we are, so this looks, this looks promising. the 225 set racing past us. It's amazing, I can't see a thing. Literally nothing until it's right in front of me. Well, the, where the headlights are. I mean, obviously I can see, you know, the tenure in the distance. I can see the horizon and all that business. I can see the stars. But if there's anything that's like right in front of me, I've got to be right on top of it before the headlights are like, here we go. And it reckons that we're going to be late into Newark Northcote. We shall see on that one. I'm not so sure. I reckon we'll be fine. I have every confidence in the world. 
crossing. Looks like 75% of the regulator is all you need to hold the train at 125 because even if you have the limiter set to 125 and you have 100% throttle, your train will start accelerating and the game will think you're doing 126 in a 124 zone. It's peculiar, but there we go. I don't make the rules. I merely drive the trains in a horrible fashion and there we go, happy days. We did now have some shooting stars coming across. And we're, uh, we're, we're at the races, we're good, we're golden. Seven and a half miles to go. Under over the points. more level crossings we're passing over. I'm sure I'm missing about a thousand uh, whistle boards here. What do we have here then? 47 on the BGAs. Three and a bit miles to go. Okay. So we're actually heading towards uh, Newark. It's like 100 mile an hour. I mean, it is actually the. Uh, crossing just outside the station so we'll be slowing down hopefully sufficiently for that. See a reflection of the stars in the lakes to our left. Here you can see the lights of Newark Northgate Station in front of us.
This is a brilliant station to film at when, uh, when you get the chance to. If you haven't been before, highly recommend it. And here we are at Northgate. So, I trust the bulk of the train is in quite comfortably without any problems. So, ignore the hubs because that makes it seem like we're hanging right on the edge, but we're not. So, what I need to do now is go back down here again. Uh, or should we go? Should I just go for a high up one? Hey, see, it's actually getting the station architecture isn't necessarily a bad thing. I don't know where I'm actually going at the moment. So let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll be in Grantham in a minute. Help. Problem. Let's go in here. Let's zoom out. Let's go forward. Oh, this way. Yes. In there. Zoom. Excellent. Right. And now, beans. Of course, I could do the whole, do a screenshot of the rear, so all you see is just red lights. Wouldn't be very good viewing. Okay, so we've got 14 and a bit miles to go before we hit Grantham. basically given up looking for uh, whistleblowers at this stage in proceedings because by the time I see them they're right in front of me and I'll just end up missing them. So I'm just gonna guess really that's that's all I can do. You're gonna go really? I'm just gonna guess? I'm like yes I am. Guessing has always worked. Vaguely sometimes. Every now and again. Periodically, once in a blue moon, I can't really do tunes in this, so I'll try it.
Okay, I can do tunes in this. I'm in the middle of the countryside, I'm sure no one would have heard that. <laughs> uh, you know, where's the where's the fun in being normal? I mean really. Just completely blow the horns in these things. Another 225 set. Well, that's 75, but don't attack now. 76%, I'm sure 76 will uh, still cover us. We've got eight and a bit miles to go. I think that light is for us. Is it going to change before we get there? That would be a no. Okay, that's fine. Step free amount of braking then. Start slowing down sufficiently. That's only just gone to a double, which means uh, we have to slow down quite handsomely for this section of the line. Yeah, let's just zoom in a bit. Yeah, that's a uh, single. Okay, that's fine. Still staying at single. Yep, okay. Just keep on slowing down then. Be prepared to stop at the next signal. Just bring that back down to one. Then, if I can, I'll zoom in, take, take a cheeky peek at the signal ahead and uh, ascertain what our method of attack is going to be. Okay. Right. Back a bit, back a bit, back, 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 back. There we go. It's still at single. Okay, so... We're going to release that. Um, we're just going to coast at this stage.
Still staying at one after all this time. Or has it actually gone to a double yet? Mm, still staying a single. That HST must be running really slow in that case. Either that, or it's chasing another slow service in front of it. Well, there's certainly a long gap between that last signal and this one, so it would make sense to assume that there's plenty of space between us and the HST. But I'll keep crawling until we get to the signal, as that's what you're supposed to do. That's how it's done prototypically. Regardless of how far the signal blocks are, you you run at a sensible speed on the off chance that it, it's on a corner and it's a red and you have you should have enough time to stop. Okay, that's cool. God, I love it. Is that still a single yellow? No, it's a double now. Okay, so at least I can actually accelerate vaguely then. I'll put it to 50%. Oh, 54, that'll do. Actually, I'll give it to 100 because uh, what we can then do is start running at half the permitted line speed. So, should be okay. Manage that, otherwise, I'm in trouble. Too rebelly. Okay. My assumption is the HST has stopped at Grantham. That's the time what this next signal is. And it's a signal. Single. Because there's the red up there. Okay, well, that's all I needed. Interesting. Nice. Is that now changed? No, it has. Okay. Right. In which case, I'll I'll release that because we can now run into Grantham then. So I may as well just give it the full beans just to uh, get us going. Acknowledge that. Hello. Thank you. There's a bloke on a bike. Hello, scooter people. How are you doing?
petrol station. What are your prices? One fifteen. Seems reasonable. Okay, working our way into Grantham. Hopefully, I can get a better screenshot here. The station is a bit more is a is a tad larger and a bit better illuminated. So hopefully that uh, that will play well for me. Can hear noises. Oh, 86. With the postal train. Okay, right, here we are at Grantham. How are we doing in terms of visuals from this side? If I go down, I feel, I feel that zoomed in shots are a tad better at night. If I just do that, that could, yeah, you know what? I think we can, we, I can work with this one. I haven't got much of a choice in the matter, but there we go. Right, sit in the air conditioned cab. Really? You actually docked me for that? The 21... I... I got in... Really? You actually docked me for that? The schedule was slack in places, but no excuse to hang about. I got in on time. Like... What? Okay, you actually dogged me for getting in on time. Um, okay. That actually doesn't make a world of sense to me, but... Alright, sure, you know. I'm generally puzzled by that, but, um, yeah, there we are. Anyhow, we've got 28 miles before we hit Peterborough, so, uh, and we're not technically not due in, we're not being given a time, so, it'll be interesting to see how this is going to play out. Right. Well, in which case, let's uh, let's just sit outside.
There's a freighter in there, or an engineer's train at the very least. It's a nice sounding 47 at the helm. Twenty five when we're coming up, just over a mile. If I press this by two, two, oh, amps are going up, speed's going up, jolly good. Still speeding and stopped. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so drop it to 69. Mind you, it doesn't help that we're going downhill. So gravity is always going to have a part to play in this. I'm just miffed that I was docked points for turning up to a station early. Let's go speeding. Go speeding. Go speeding. Go speeding. Go speeding. Go speeding. Still. 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 Stopped. Okay. Right, now that we've leveled out, back to about what seventy three probably. Hello, this is like a HST.
Hello, this is a 158 we're chasing. And it is, regional always 158. Some more headlights coming down, presumably another 158. Nope, 31. So, 13 miles to go. I think it's going to be quite smooth running from here on out. Okay, ten and a half miles to go. The evening is still very much gorgeous. Let's take a cheap peek up and uh, look at the stars. Yeah, there's one thing I love doing at night. It's stargazing. I can happily just sit in the back garden. I can just stare at the stars so peaceful and it's just gorgeous my my goal is to catch the northern lights and at some point drive up to the scottish highlands and see the night sky without any light pollution from the ground see it as it, how it should be see the galaxy in its purest form that is my goal that's my intention Okay, that was Tallington Level Crossing that we just went over. Fuel used? What? How? How can I use fuel? I'm in an electric train. How are you docking me for using fuel? What? How? How? Seriously, how can you use me for using fuel? What? 
What is going on? I, I'm so... What? No, you've lost me at this stage. If I was driving a HST, then yeah, okay. If it drained the tank, which I find hard to believe, but I'm driving an electric multiple unit. Hello? I don't use fuel. I'm not going to stop off at a BP service station and whack in 50 quid of unleaded into this thing, am I? I'm using electricity. What, are you telling me that I'm suddenly... I'm now going to drain the nearest coal-powered power station somewhere? I'm now draining the national grid of all their power, so I'm leaving some poor sub who's watching Match of the Day in complete blackness now or something. How can I... How can you do me for using fuel? I'm in an electric train. There's no diesel in this thing. I, yeah, do you know what? Fine, forget it. <laughs> oh my God, this is actually infuriating me. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Do you know what? We'll go with it. We'll go on the basis that I'm somehow using fuel in this thing, but there we are. And this is the, the cafeteria car in the middle of the train suddenly had a bit of a problem. It's draining coffee everywhere. <laughs> oh, God, of both. Um, yeah, okay. That's just... That's just... It's just beyond bloody stupid, but there we go. using fuel oh my god this is actually infuriating me I'd love to, I'm gonna, when it comes to the action car at the end of this, sort of giving me all my faults that I've done, like speeding and all that business, I really want to find out where it got the idea that I'm using fuel. But I'm genuinely at a loss for that one. I, yeah. Sure. We'll just, ro we'll roll with it. I'm actually sure I missed that 47 that came down with the, um, the mail train. But actually, I didn't see what delivery it was. Couple of 37s there. This is platform two, is it? I thought, be, I thought this would be platform one. No, here's platform two. Oh, I know why. Because they had the bay platform back in the day, of course they did. Yeah. Which is why this is platform two, that's platform, yeah. It'd be nice if that platform still existed, but... It doesn't anymore, I'm afraid. So, are you going to dock me for somehow being... Well, it reckons my ETA is like another five minutes, but I'm here. So... Is it going to screw me this time? I wouldn't be too surprised. So, here we are now at Peterborough. How are we doing back here? Oh, we're in. Comfortably. We can do the clean. Right. Fuel. Have we lost any fuel? I don't think so. Right, electric engine, have you lost any fuel? No, I think we're fine. Thank you, Mark Four. Yeah, it's, I don't get it. I'm driving, but it, it's not, well, technically you can call it, thank you. You can call it an electric multiple unit per se, even though it's got a loco at one end and 
What? What, 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 what? What the? What? I don't know what that does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's an electric engine anyway. It's an electric train, but there we go. Right. So, where's me? Where's my mouse gone? No, the mouse has gone. From, okay, the mouse has disappeared. Fuel use. I'm I'm at a loss. I genuinely am at a loss there. Where's my mouse? Oh, I don't know. Mouse has gone walkies. Right. Anyway, um, the next scenario after this is going to be a HST. I believe that runs from York to Peterborough uh, during the day, so we can actually see what we're doing this time round. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed this today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do get back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. And uh, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.